by, but again, keep yourself safe out there because not only we're tracking the intense heat, it's combined with the humidity, and that is the main headline currently for your 6 o'clock hour. Still have a heat advisor in place, so still take a lot of precaution, take a live look of the old market downtown Omaha. Feels like 103 stepping outside. Feels like 105 in Lincoln and Lancaster County. Good evening to you guys across the bridge. Red Oak, Denison, lower 90s, upper 80s. Feels like 102 in both of those communities. Live dual pole Doppler radar tracking a few clouds rolling in from the north and west. And We'll be sticking around for most of the evening throughout the overnight. So some cloud coverage, a northeast breeze about 10 to 20 miles an hour, but it were off to a pretty mild start for early Saturday morning. Around daybreak, a morning low is only 73 degrees, 72 in York, 74 in Beatrice. Again, sort of similar to what we just experienced for this morning. And we're off to the races when it comes to the mercury for tomorrow morning. So we're off to a muggy and somewhat of a cloudy start. If you have plans to head downtown to the old market to, for the farmer's market, around 8 o'clock, 76 degrees, already looking at the lower 80s by the time we approach noon o'clock, mostly cloudy skies. So the clouds will be dominated for most of our communities for tomorrow afternoon. High temperature of 86 degrees, 87 Columbus, looking at some lower 90s, Lincoln. 80, 89 degrees, Beatrice, 88 in Fall City. However, we do have some storm chances to speak of. Most of the daylight hours will be on a drier side. The Storm Prediction Center maintaining a marginal risk, pretty much draped for our southernmost communities south of I-80 from Columbus down to Lincoln, Falls City. So many storms that do develop. A few have a low end threat of uh, going on a severe side when it comes to damaging wind and also some quarter size hail. Let's get the latest timeline. This is our rapid refresh model. Start the clock around noon tomorrow. Sort of overdoing it with the scattered rainfall chances west of the city, but it will be picking up in coverage wide by the time we get closer to our sunset hours for tomorrow evening, especially throughout the overnight. Widespread chances of some light to moderate showers and maybe some thunderstorms as we get closer beyond the midnight hour for early. Early Sunday morning around 2 and 3 o'clock. Something worth watching again. Again, so many storms could be producing some quarter size hail and maybe some winds access to 60 miles an hour. How much rain we're talking about? Not much. If you get caught under a heavy downpour, it could see upwards to an inch, maybe two inches, but few and far between. And unfortunately, as we look ahead throughout the next several days or so, uh, that drought monitor could be expanded for most of our 42 counties. We have a lot of dry and hot days ahead of us. But nevertheless, Saturday evening and throughout the overnight Sunday, our next best chance, maybe our only best chance of showers and storms as we get beyond that time frame, Sunday into Monday, we're looking at upper to mid 90s returning 100 impact weather for next Tuesday.